Welcome back. In this video, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about um, adding kind of like the extra final details on our animal, um, on our fantasy creature. So in this video, things that you're going to do are, number one, carve away any extra clay. So for that, I mean like, you know, kind of trim up the sides, make the sides even, um, and that sort of thing. Step two, you're going to make sure that you add clay for more specific designs. And for example, like here, on when I did the demonstration for this, I added like the eyeball there. Um, and that was one piece of clay I added to enhance the design some more. Then uh, you're going to impress some kind of tool into the surface to make the texture of the body furnishings, like the scales, the wings, the feathers, whatever. And the last part is to take a small tool and incise some lines for the extra details. So for example, um, on the bird here, I took a small toothpick and I actually drew in the lines of the feathers. And so if you take, if I take this and just do a demonstration of incising, um, you know, impressing the texture might look like this. If I took this tool and impressed a texture over the top of itself, and I just did that over and over, it could make a very cool, unique pattern for the impressed texture. For the incised lines, if I took a tool and I just start drawing into the clay, I can make some very neat, nice, interesting incised lines and decorations um, that will help in the surface pattern. So. I'm going to start by carving away some more clay and I might break this video up into a few different sections depending on how long it gets. But if I take my tool here and I kind of start carving away, it would be a good thing for me to kind of redefine this leg shape, kind of clean up some of the bumps. And some of the ways that you can start carving is by taking a tool, I, I really do again just like the popsicle stick, and you can take it and you can kind of um, if you just gently scrape it along the surface you can do a pretty neat job of carving clay away. Another way that you can do it is if you push. I've found that sometimes when the clay gets just hard enough you can push it and actually use it almost like it's a, a shaving knife or something and just shave little chunks of clay off to kind of redefine the size and shape of the body. Um, and another way you can do it is if you actually like pretend this is a knife and you kind of whittle towards yourself like this you can actually you know carve chunks of the clay off as well so carving the clay off if I kind of continue I'm gonna redefine some of my edges here where the um, the leg is and I'm gonna try to be moving mine around so you can see it as we go but I want you to you know be careful with yours especially if you've got a big neck or something that's going to fall off. I'd probably suggest not moving it um, or moving it as little as possible um, so that you don't have any of, don't have, so you're not fighting with gravity. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of keep working here, carving as I go and thinking about the three-dimensionality of the form. Okay, thinking to myself, well, how do I want it to look? Do I want it round here? Do I want it flat there? And you can see I'm just kind of slowly working the form of it. Since it's a three-dimensional object, you have to look at it from all sides. How does it look on the bottom? How does it look on the mouthpiece? If you want to redefine the mouthpiece, do that now. Try not to ruin what you've already got, but if you want to redefine it, make it more smooth, make it more rounded, make it more angular now is the time okay because you want to take care of all that before you start doing the des designs and textures and stuff most of you can probably carve quite a bit of your clay away without actually ruining the um, body of your ocarina at all and I'm just gonna kinda shave a little bit off I put a hole right here because um, I have six holes on the other side and I well I ran out of fingers so I had to uh, use my thumb and make a thumb hole down there um, so you know as you're working and adding or cutting away please be cognizant and thinking about the other parts of your animal and that you don't want to be ruining your uh, holes your pitch holes or your sound hole or any other part of your ocarina as you're 
trimming up or cleaning out the edges or or doing whatever okay and I think I will have to end this video just in a minute so when I'm done carving the clay I'll end the video and we'll have to look at the next section of adding the clay on when we get to that point okay Okay, so you can kind of see I've just kind of redefined and reshaped the body a little bit. I've still got a lot more work to do on the head. I'm going to do that off camera um, and we will resume the next film with that piece done and I'll talk about then the second step of adding more clay to the specific details. Okay, and that's how you carve away clay on your um, fantasy creature.